Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Tim here, and I'm back with another uh, Lego Star Wars set video. This is an actual set, and um, yeah, but I'm home for the weekend, so I thought I'd record something or other. And this is a um, set, I believe, from like 2017, 2016, or 2017. It's this one, the 75191, it's the Obi-Wan Starfighter with... Uh, hyperdrive ring and um figures are not all the same i changed some up a bit and also boba i can't find boba i know i have them i just misplaced them but uh the three figures i do have here are the r4 unit which the head can come off and then go on the body or on the ship there's obi-wan and this is episode two appearance he has the heads up the, the headset and actually i gave him a mandalorian cape and brown um, so yeah, if this was a newer set, I'd like him to have the newer beard print and face print. And also, I'd like him to have a printed robes. And also the hood piece, the new hood piece. And then the final figure is Jango Fett. I gave him these. I forget if he had those in the actual set, but I also gave him the uh, clone head. So yeah, those are the three figures I had. Also, there's Boba, like I said. Um... Here is the Hyperdrive Ring. This is actually a very cool set. I really like it. Um, let me get something to prop this up a bit higher up. Nope. This'll do. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is just really cool. I actually have not rebuilt this. This is still built like my grandfather had built it initially. But, um, yeah, it has a handle, which is this these clear Technic pieces, which are really cool. I've always wanted them. And you can see there's a lot of Technic. This entire thing is Technic. You can see there's, like, it's, the whole ring is just Technic with, um, bricks stuck on, or with, you know, plates stuck on the outside. Um, this whole thing in the middle is, uses a lot of these pieces, the big wheel pieces. Um, and actually just one of the cylinder, cylinder pieces. Um. So, yeah, you can, like, see inside there and whatnot. Um, you can see the engines. It's a really cool set, I think. I love the hype driving. I'd like a newer one with the Interceptor, the Jedi Interceptor. Um, to remove the Starfighter, um, well, so it had spring-loaded shooters, which you, can e you could easily access from. You can see that's where the tails would have stuck out, so you could have easily held it like this, pushed down, boom, you launched. But to remove the interceptor, there's this red piece here, and also like a rubber band a bit. And you can see there's these flaps, like the Jedi interceptor wings. You fold them up, you pull this flap, and it basically releases a lock on it. Because um, what it does is whenever you pull it, it pulls that back. And whenever you put it on, you can see there's this thing here with the tan Technic pieces. You'd basically... Um, Whenever you have it open, um, the main parts, you know, you'd stick them into the, these pinholes. Or you could stick them in here. And whenever you let it go, this basically clamps it to where it rests in between these two Technic sides. And it locks it in place. Very sturdy. These don't even, these are really just to seal up the gap. And to remove it, once again, you, you, like I said, you just pull this back. It's very simple. Um, I'm sure the rubber band does wear out over time with use, so it, um, really the only problem would be if you use it too much and the rubber band breaks. But yeah, I'll show off the Starfighter, or actually I can just show off more of the ring. You can see it is a full circle. It's really in, uh, impressive, the fact that they were able to get it to be a full circle, and it's very sturdy. Like, you'd think you could just pull it off from here, but no, they put in these Technic bars here to hold those together to where, you know, I can't even pull it apart like this, because these Technic, uh, like, um, what is it? Arms? Like, the half arms. It basically holds those together. So it's not very e I don't even know how... Yeah, you'd have to fully, like, remove all of the plates to be able to take it apart. And it's still, I'm sure, it's very difficult. So it's a very sturdy structure. And I'd be pretty confident with putting that on, like, on here and still shaking it around. And, I mean, I've actually messed with it a lot. I've swooshed it around, spun it, 
but look at that it's just so cool like the solid circle um you can see there's it's mostly white but it's got the red outline which these i'm sure these would break if i tried to take it apart a lot of these would probably break and it's got some green on either side it's kind of symmetrical on the either side and on the bottom it's got a lot more red so yeah those are probably very easily break broken if i were to start taking it apart um you can see they use just wing plates for the actual like stand and there's black which i think is supposed to probably represent like nothing you know like that's just supposed to be space same with the clear parts but those are there so you can hold it you know and it's it's such it's it's a really great build i think it would be very easy to modify into the episode 3 version by just adding on two engines and making them all because i think i think it's three engines on either side and obviously you need to make it to where it has that access or the like the the clamp system but here you can see the interceptor it's got a front landing gear or not the interceptor the the starfighter um you can just place it down and the landing gear works one qualm i have is they did not use technic or no they didn't use ratcheted joints there's some there but those are just stoppers the on they only used the like normal clips and bar pieces so it very easily moves around but the detailing is great it's small which is good i think it's an accurate size this one doesn't have the escape pod feature you know where you can where you could pull that out i think i lost a slope piece there that would have been there um obviously here's the head part this is where the head goes and something neat too is so you put the head there and obviously then you just have the head there there's nowhere to put the body which actually i think canonically the droid head is built into it or at least you the droid head completely removes from the body and it's put on here so it's like the droid head on here it obviously they they realize it wouldn't fit it doesn't work on the like the actus the, the 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 episode three jedi starfires it doesn't work there either like it doesn't make sense but they still kept it in there so they could have r2 i guess but yeah like in episode two obi-wan's droid was just a head but here they gave you a body obviously because kids expect that but yeah they made it to where you can put in there where you know in the clone wars that's where the droid would be um so you could maybe like modify and just put the droid head there uh, the whole droid there but here they just made it towards a they used some empty space to give you a place for your droid um the cannons are up top like where they should be um instead of i think new, more they'd either keep this but i think um if they were to remake this they put the cannons on the bottom or on the side and then have the 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 fake cannons just for looks but here this was the prime time for stud, stud shooters so they kind of did them up top um there's a few stickers this set has a lot of stickers actually now that i look at it um it would have been a pain in the butt to build it looks nice with all the stickers but i think it would have been a pain in the butt to build the starfighter it's it's after they found their perfect design for it so it's basically pretty perfect you can fit obi-wan in there don't know where you'd put his weapon there's nowhere yeah there's nowhere for his weapon maybe you could toss it in here with the droid body um that's interesting they put line there they didn't have to but yeah this works really well i think yeah if they were to fully basically remake this and use pretty much the exact same build i wouldn't be disappointed um maybe i think they could do it where obviously i would like ratchet joints here would be nice um i think there's not much that i would change honestly um i think i'd keep it mostly the same obviously updated figures um the type like i said the hyperdrive ring is perfect i think if they were to remake a hyperdrive ring i'd like them to do the uh the interceptor the jedi interceptor though you can see a bit of the technic bars in there um because, you know, they're black. They can't make those clear. But this set is great. I love it. Um, I probably am thinking... I'm thinking of taking this back to, w with me to college whenever I go back. Because um, I'd like to have something to put on display. This seems perfect. It's just I don't want it getting... I don't want the white parts getting yellowed. But, um, yeah. I have some other sets I could review. I have Pose um, X-Wing. Uh, that might be it. That's... I have the Phantom. I got the Phantom one. 
And that might be it. Oh, uh, let's see what's under here. It's just the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, that's about it. But, yeah. So that was this review. Just wanted to do something for y'all because it's been a while. Um, once again, I'll show y'all this. How confident I am. Look at that. It didn't even budge. I mean, obviously it shook around. But, I mean, it didn't even, like, fall out. It didn't slide out or anything. It's perfect. It, it looks great. It's perfect. Great set. I believe it was a bit overpriced at the time. But otherwise, I think it's a great set. So, yeah, I think they also should have made a Slave 1 at the same time. If they do, if they were to remake this, make a Slave 1 too. Um, you know, the Jenga Fett version. Because we have not had that since long ago. Long, long ago. Sure, they actually would have the same figures, so that's the problem. They'd have to put in just Obi-Wan and R4 in here, and then maybe have Obi-Wan duplicated into the Jenga Fett set. Or the Slave 1 set, without the headset, I guess. Eh, you know, there's, there's stuff. But, um, yeah. I think we're, it's prime time for another episode two wave of sets. I liked how they did that, like, in the late 20 teens, where, you know, they, they did full, like, a wave of Phantom Menace, and then a wave of Attack of the Clones, wave of episode three, because those were the, those were the time to be alive, man. But yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I'm glad y'all are patient, because I'm assuming y'all are patient, um, with me not making videos. I'm trying, but... Thank you for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.